Hey, what's up, people? You are now tuned in to the 18th episode of True to Size. What's going on, family? This is a different voice from you. what you usually hear. You usually hear Spooner without an E. <laughs> this is currently Mr. Q-Mart. Uh, please bear with me. This is my first co-hosting gig. Um, Alan, let me get rid of my virginity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, I am currently here with my three brothers. To the right of me is Mr. Joe Dooney. Yeah. Diagonally to my left is Mr. Spoon. This is weird. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and then directly to my left is Mr. Doggy. What up? And I'm sure you've heard the intro. That is also a different voice. Uh, he is an avid basketballer. Ooh. Yeah. I like what? that. Yeah, so, something like that. Avid. Um, Shot avid. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the very few people who I know that are actually a hardcore AI fan. Yup. That's guy. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my father like that. <laughs> uh, and if you don't know him, you're definitely missing out. It's Mr. Jamar Smith. <laughs> hey, I was going to do that sound. <laughs> I actually practice it outside. It was good, bro. Welcome. Ah, it's good to be here. So, it's good so, to be here. Our, Friend of the show. So. So, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You better know it, bro. <laughs> Uh, so before we get to know that wonderful gentleman over there, um, we're going to get to the fire round. Hey. Hey, it's, it's a damn good question, I think. Oh, shit. Um, so Ooh. this is from the friend of the show at Lion and Pickaxe what up, on what the up, Insta. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Always with the fire round question. Always, always. So the fire round question is, if I'm visiting T.O. Dot <laughs> and want to know where, <clears throat> excuse me, the... <laughs> The locals go to find kicks and take in their sneaker culture. Other than 306, where should I go? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Great question, man. And uh, Jamar, you can go first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, what was his spot. answer? Did I, he have an answer? No. I, I think it is. No, nah, not no. really, because I think he'd know. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. He's, he's a local. <laughs> I think he has the answers. Oh, okay. I don't know. He said besides 306, and I think 306 has like the most hype around it right now. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Being one of the few Jordan stores in the world, right? So, yeah. And being in Toronto, it's right by Dundas Square. It's mm-hmm. like right in the center of everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like you always have people there. You have people there who want to talk about sneakers. I, it only makes sense. But yeah. I can't even. Yeah. Do you Other guys, than do you guys know of any like low key stores that? Have some heat. My favorite is a drift. True. Yeah. They carry the. I think they're like literally the biggest Nike SB account holder in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Easily. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think Exclusity has held some uh, some SB releases. Way back. Uh, Capsule, I think, has had one or two. Yeah, way back as well. Oh, and yeah. Flat Spot used to be the joint in That's Hamilton. Fun. Hamilton. Yeah. R.I.P. Flat Spot. That was a good spot. Oh. Yes. Um. I don't know. You could just probably walk across from a drift over to livestock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Literally right next shit. to it. Yeah. Shoot the shit over there and, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, carry a conversation with fellow sneakerheads there. Yeah. Um, other than that, I don't know. What else? What else is left? Capsules. Right? Good joint. Capsule. Exclu. Yeah. Exclu is everywhere now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they got status too, right? So honestly, my answer, even though you said aside from 306, would also be. 306. <laughs> like, yeah. Then that's not like an answer. <laughs> it's hard, though. <laughs> I was going to say Capsule, but I was like... Uh, uh, we're forgetting Haven. Yeah, yeah. they're low-key. They get yeah. a lot of good um, stuff, man. Yeah. And then there's like a bunch of uh, consignment shops just scattered across. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't go Toronto. there for culture, though. Yeah. No, that's true. Even Haven. Like, it's that's definitely... True. They get they get stuff, but I feel like it's a different kind of culture. Like, it's high fashion mm-hmm. kind of culture mm-hmm. or streetwear, even. It's part of it. Mm-hmm. Would yeah. you, would you guys it. consider... Finding a store that has really good prices on things, or really uh, like a part of the culture. I was thinking SVP, Today Sportswear, yeah. or Today Sportswear. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Groovy Shoes Toronto. On what you're into, because there's so yeah. many six spots yeah, in the city sure. now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right. It's a good question. Yeah, it was a good question. We so, didn't even have an answer. That's how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> you can just Google sneaker shops in Toronto, uh, and then I'm sure some results will pop up. Something will pop up. Something like that. Something like that. All right. Now we're going to move on to this week's recap. 
So, hey. Alan. Yes. How's that uh, no cop July going? Uh, it going? <laughs> what day is it today? July 5th? Zero cops. <laughs> nice. hey. That's yes. very impressive. Yes. Nice. Five very impressive. days in, hey, deep. Deep yeah. in the month. Hey, it you're, was you're deeper than there. I thought you would get, bro. So, I'm already proud of you, uh, man. He's had a couple scares, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> August drops. Already too many. And it was like the last week of June. It hasn't even hit July yet. And I've already <laughs> no. had so many scares. Um... So we said the exception, or I said the exception of the JTHs. They got delayed till August. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I guess this whole thing was meant to be. Um, but so earlier <laughs> earlier this week, or it was like recently after I saw the Para Amex, Air Max ones, <gasps> I asked you guys um, <laughs> if my wife Christine bought me a pair of shoes. Is it considered? <laughs> you're, you're already laughing. Is it considered a gift, or is is it like? It, am I just cheating the system? This was a setup. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to radio. <laughs> um, Lawrence, you said. Whoa, whoa, oh, that's thunder. thunder buddies. <laughs> yes, thank God I have all you guys here. Um, <laughs> Lawrence, what did you say? My answer to the question in long form is <laughs> <laughs> like to me i think the whole point of your no cop july was to save money to budget i'll, I'll get i'll get to, I'll get to, to that. learn how to yeah. like pass on things and yeah. i feel like that to me sounds like a loophole i should have went to you last joel yeah. what was your answer <laughs> come back to me come back to me <laughs> i said it doesn't count no didn't i say that? like it doesn't count as a cop it doesn't changed. count it doesn't count you, as a you, cop you though. said it was a gift it was a gift thank it you was, i love you like joel <laughs> but what it what she have bought it for you if you weren't doing no cop july she would have if you just no, but I mean like confirmed. I asked her. There was a squeal. Hold on, there was a squeal. That was a squeaky <laughs> wheel. Someone was in the office. But it wouldn't have even got to that because you would have bought it yourself. No, hmm? you would have bought it yourself. No, um, hmm. maybe. But wait, so did you that... did you show her the picture? I did. Like... She knows I'm obsessing over it. It's currently okay. the wallpaper on my iPhone. I'm pulling some Hardy Girl That's things. That's why I said it's a setup. Um, <laughs> So, okay, let me preface this. Lawrence already mentioned it. I am doing this because I need to get uh, my spending straight, my habits and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not trying to cop every single pair anymore. Um, being very selective. I mean, you guys have seen my feed in terms of like the stuff that I've copped. I am very, very selective <laughs> now. Um, so, yeah, I am trying to get my shit straight, uh, trying to save money and stuff. Lawrence, you had mentioned like some sort of a runaround yeah like to me if you're gonna find a loophole which i feel like that is mm-hmm. which is like getting gonna, getting christine to buy me the yeah, pair is a getting loophole. christine yeah, yeah. to buy the pair if you i was agree a, i agree i just wanted to see what yeah. you guys would say um, <laughs> <laughs> i had to shoot my shot yeah okay. right. um which i don't even blame you because that pair is sick and it just came out of nowhere <sighs> so yeah. um i said to me it makes a lot more sense if you were to sell a pair or two or three to fund that new pair mm-hmm. That's a little bit more on the track that you're trying to go down, like mm-hmm. trying to budget, trying yeah. to prioritize. Yeah. Like you're prioritizing the pair that's coming out over pairs you already own. Yeah. And you're going to sell shit to get the money and it basically costs you nothing, quote so, unquote. So before I get to my proposal or permission or my asking <laughs> for permission from, from, from the brothers, I want to, before I say that, I want to say this. After July, if I didn't cop the pairs at retail, I'd be going resell, and we all know that resale is going to be fucking ridiculous on yep. this pair. Mm-hmm. With that being said, do you guys give me permission to do what Lawrence has said, where I will have to sell pairs to fund paying for the pairs if I even get a chance to get it at retail? Yeah, because yeah. that's yeah. the only loop around that you technically have. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's still because you're not. It's still you're still doing. You're copying you're in copying. July, but it's a better, it's a more healthy way to do it, I think. Yeah. But, so, yeah, so exactly. So with your purpose of no cop July, which mm-hmm. is to save money, you're still saving, you're not taking money out of your income. Yeah. It's, it's money that's already been used for sneakers. So do your thing, bro. It's already been budgeted towards sneakers. You're exactly. Recycling the budget. Recycling. Yeah. Exactly. Before, before we move on. I and just if wanna... you're going to pay resell, uh-huh. sorry to interrupt okay, you. Okay, it's okay. Just sell more shit yeah. and get yeah. up to the yeah, resale no, value. Yeah. That's, like that's if you're gonna plan. do it, do the whole thing kind that's of thing. That's the yeah. plan. I mean I, I I I like I actually will break <laughs> no cop July for this pair if I can get it for retail. Mm. Like period. Like yeah. this the pair's gorgeous. Uh start prepping now then. I know, I know. <laughs> and before yeah. before we move on, uh I hate everyone who's texting me and going, 
uh, lol, no cop July, You're, look at this. <laughs> people like, keep showing me shoes and shit. And I'm look like, at this, look at this, look at this. Don't you kind of want this? And I'm just like, nah, easy pass, bro, easy pass. <laughs> Everyone wants to be the one to break no yeah, cop to July. Break uh, it's tough, man. All just it don't was... make that kind of proclamation because you know in the sneaker game that shit pops up like yeah. oh, out of nowhere. Stupid. Like I could I know, never I make that promise to myself because even though I've said no cop August, like already this man got rescheduled to August. Yeah, the JTH. Yeah, the JTH. That's got why I say with the yeah. exception of. Yeah, no, because then. Th- stuff pops up like the pair i'd rather just like that yeah. like if i'm gonna buy a pair in the next two months i'm gonna sell mm-hmm. something to fund it mm-hmm. i think that's a little bit more we'll realistic see. i mean yeah. if no cop july is really meant to be i'm not gonna get them for retail and then you'll just have another three hundred dollars because you sold yeah. some shit for Softer uh things. for august yeah because <laughs> <laughs> august is a heavy ass month already mm-hmm. lawrence hello hello went to a, a really cool event yesterday yeah it was neat what was it you want to hear about it? I would love to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on Tuesday, uh, we got hit up by... Yeah, super last second. Yeah, very last minute, but that's okay. Um, on Tuesday, we got hit up by some friends at MLSC asking if we wanted to come on down to uh, the now Scotiabank Arena. That's going to take some getting used oh. to. SBA, yeah. SA, yeah, we'll find something. Weird. Yeah, it's okay. We'll find something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to come down there to celebrate the inaugural season of Raptors Uprising GC, which is the brand new uh, 2K team for Toronto. Like it's an extension of the Toronto Raptors organization. So they're part of the whole MLSE family um, just to celebrate the season. Like the whole like it's literally this is the first year of the entire league. And then the Raptors jumped on immediately. They think that the esports thing is going to take off, mm-hmm. which Smart. I can't say they're wrong because yeah. it's a worldwide thing like it's massive oh mm-hmm. yeah like those league of legends players are rich as fuck. Bang. <laughs> just bang um but yeah so it started off we got there um and it was a a little mini tournament like round ra- ra- round robin style tournament on the raptors practice court which was really cool nice. i've never played on a, a regulation nba court that's a pretty deep three. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> every, every first three yeah. balls air ball. Oh, man. Everybody yeah, shoots air ball for first, the first NBA first three. First 20, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was sick. Um, so it was myself. I brought my boy Dante. Um, was like my plus one kind of thing. So it was. Because none of us could have made it. Yeah, it was a three on three half court. Um, so it was. The team was comprised of. Each team was comprised of one Raptors Uprising player, like part of the the, the, e-sports, the e-sports team, team. Yep. Mm-hmm. and then four other. So we had two subs, four other like media influencer people, kind of thing. So five teams of five cut down to three with subs. Um, we got murked. I'll tell you a little bit about the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was like a three game round robin, and that kind of did the seeding, and then it was like a quarterfinal, semifinal, and final. Um, it was so we played two games in the round robin lost both of them one of them we lost like 12 to 1 or something Ooh. dumb it was like 10 minute games like just rough but everyone like gets, gets to the playoffs kind of thing it was yeah. just like that mm-hmm. was your first seeding and the team who came first got a bye gets to the quarterfinal and we won i was like wow the fuck we played the same team how did we win so handedly yeah. and now it's playoff time it's playoff yeah. time yeah. Yeah. Time. Really <laughs> playoffs are a different time. game yeah. <laughs> um next game comes up like the semifinal, and we lost by one which was Sad, but hey, it's better than get, losing fourteen to one. So. Super facts. <laughs> um, so, did you guys just purposely bail your first two games to get that low seating? Maybe. <laughs> 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 um, but the winning team actually went home with box seats to the season opener, Jeez. which was really cool. What? Yeah, um, dope. I'm assuming it was like for plus ones as well. So they're gonna get like a whole box to the, nice. the home opener, which is dope. Yeah, and then afterwards they took us over to Real Sports, and they had like a whole private room like rented out. With like probably ten tables with two screens on each and four controllers on each for playing two K and like a fully catered event with like ribs and mm. like brisket and pulled pork and shit. It was delicious. Yeah, Open cool. bar, like it was yeah, nuts. That's dope. Oh, um, and then wow. we got to yeah, and then we got to play against like the Raptors Uprising. Oh man, if I thought fourteen to one was bad in real basketball, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> 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 I see why those guys are professional baller. Uh, like and 2K 2K ballers, 2Kers, yeah. yeah. Holy shit, <laughs> like wow. crazy. Um, but the whole thing was centered around this contest that they're having. Um, it's OLG teaming up with Raptors Uprising. Nice. They're having a contest that uh, the winner and three friends are flown out to New York City 
with round trip airfare, two nights of accommodations to watch like them play live in New York City. Sick. Like, wow. a tournament in August. Yeah, it's, it's sick. getting real. Yeah. That's crazy. Um so I just put up a blog post today. Um oh. you can check canadagotsoul.ca. The link to the contest is there. Um there's some stuff on our story about it as well. And the hashtag is Lotto Max Swish. Swish. Thank you again to MLSC, Raptors mm-hmm. Uprising, and OLG for that, because that was dope. Damn. Well, yikes. With that thunder, we are now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be as good as Alan is. It's smooth, bro. It's smooth. <laughs> this week in sneakers. Twick. Ooh. You're not allowed to switch it up, Alvin. Ooh. This week. But I'm the co host. No, that's not new how you host, do new it. New rules. No. I bent the rules a little bit. No, that was <laughs> I don't twist. like it. Go on. Go Twi- on. I twisted twist, twist. the Twix. Lame. <laughs> Lame. All right. So we'll start this week off first with Kuya Joel and the Air Safari SE Atmos. Yes. Atmos. Like, I don't know. What can't you talk about it, man? <laughs> it's like the the canvas uppers, the leather. It's the same Atmos as the Atmos Air Max One that dropped eons ago, like their their OG drop, but with the Safari, you know, um, midsole. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it, I think it dropped Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if if any other places are gonna get. I them, only saw a capsule. Post capsule it. only had yeah. them. Yeah. Those are crazy. I know. It man. suits it suits the safari, like the, the silhouette. silhouette so mm-hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. Like really, really well. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dope shoe. Really yeah, under the radar shoe. and out of nowhere. I didn't yeah, know they, I didn't even know. know they were dropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were cute for sure. Yeah. Is that another Atmos collab? That I don't even know. I don't even know if it's an Because Atmos. Atmos is attached to it too. Yeah. It said Atmos? Yeah. Well, when, I, well, when I looked it up, yeah. It feels like it's been like four months in a row with yeah. an Atmos collab. Or is it like another curry colorway? Inspired by inspired. I don't know. I mean I don't know. I could see it. Either way, it's sick. It's yeah. sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mr. Spoon? Yeah. Your Predator Accelerators. Adidas. Uh, just in time for the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Uh, Adidas is bringing back a cleat from 1999 that was rocked by David Beacom. Oh, my God. Um, it, it's sick because it's coming back in both like the football cleat form, but it's also coming back in like a off-pitch version, so like mm-hmm. kind of like an equivalent to a Nike sportswear version of it. Um, with like updated prime knit upper, uh, and then the, the off pitch version actually has boost in the midsole. It's actually really nice. It's a really dope shoe. I actually really want them. Although they're going to be mad limited because they're paying tribute to the pair, um, with only 1,999 pairs. Yikes. Yeah. They dropped today of this, uh, the recording of this podcast, July 5th. The prices are hefty. <laughs> 250 USD for the off pitch shoe and then 350 USD for the cleat. Yeah, retail. Oh my goodness. They're gorgeous though, man. They're gorgeous, Mm. but damn. Yeah. Damn. No cop July. (laughs) You don't, you don't need them. You wouldn't have cop July. No, I wasn't going to do it. You don't need them. Holy smokes. I like them a lot though. I like them a lot. They look good, man. El Doggy. The F N F K Quay. Quay, 54 trees. You want to tell, family. Want me tell you about it? Please do. You want to talk about it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so last week we talked about the black retail version, and I think briefly we touched upon the fact that there was a family and friends version. Yeah, man. Uh, Quay 54 has been doing this for time. Like I remember when the white and lime green fives dropped, there was also a black and lime green five that dropped alongside yeah. it that was family and friends. Mm-hmm. Um, they did a military four with like a patch on the tongue that said like one of 54, which was also family and friends. Um, so you could have kind of seen this coming from a mile away, but last the w- year's FNF was sick too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That was the all or the split. No, the, it was split the ones, down the middle. Split, yeah. yeah. The oh, ones, yeah. the red and the, uh, yeah. blue. Yep. Yep. Um, they always do family and friends. So I wasn't surprised. Um, but these are just so hard. Like the all white <sighs> with just a little bit of color at the heel Dog. and the icy sole. Um, and obviously the fact that JT performed in them. <laughs> while he was, that was the kicker for me. While he was in Paris. Yeah. On, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday is when he did it. Um, but yeah, so fucking hard. They're mm. so sick. And going to be like impossible to get. So I saw DJ cool. Clark Kent also post his pair today, too. Of course. He of got course. Yeah. yeah. We need to get on that list. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Soon. Trust me, bro. Soon. So moving from one Jordan to another, my pick this week was the AJ13 He Got Games. Mm. Um, I mean, you guys already know what it is. Only reason I picked them this week was because those were the first pair of shoes that the parents caught me. 
Mm. When I knew about shoes. Yeah. <laughs> in grade seven, and I <laughs> balled in them, and I beat them up. And then, uh, so the OG pair I had, and then I bought every retro after that, and then I had to sell them due to... Life. 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 Ouch. Similar to, to reasons that, you know, Alan is trying to be mm-hmm. very well behaved. <laughs> uh, but now, like, seeing that they're re-releasing, I kind of just fell in love with them all over again. And you think it's time? You think Kind of brought back the nostalgia and me playing ball. And You're going to buy one to keep, you think? I don't know, man. I'm tempted to, but because it's like, the, the only thing is I'll, I'll probably never wear them. When was the last time they came out? Like 2012-ish? When we were still working at Full Locker. 2013. 2013? <laughs> because the leather probably wasn't very nice no. back then. So no. now when it comes out, the leather's probably going to be buttery. Yeah. And maybe I'll wear them to play ball. Yeah. That would be nice. Ooh. Full yeah. circle shit. Yeah. I've always wanted a pair of Break your up. ankle. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Seeing Alvin or yeah. growing up seeing Alvin play ball in yeah. them, even the parents, sick. even though the parents told them not to. Great shoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they told me not to wear them outside and not to play ball in them because they're the expensive ones? as f. They were in the <laughs> countdown yeah. pack. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. I had those ones too, and I sold them. <laughs> oh <my God. sighs> Anyways, talking about basketball, this uh, special guest that we have here. So I've probably personally known him for like nine to ten ish years. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's worked with me in every company that I've been a store manager for. <laughs> Follow you around. You're a great Decade. manager. Yeah, That's man. Awesome. Uh, he's, he's also one of the people I know who are heavily, you know, into the basketball community. Uh, he's Mr. Steal Your Girl's nephew. <sighs> um, My boy and Trey. The man who loves his Iversons because that's apparently his dad. That is my father. Um, so Trey Smith, is your right? uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Trey Songs AI is my uncle. Is and your Alan Iverson. I didn't know they were brothers. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Trey Songs and Alan Iverson. I had no idea. It's they a were complicated <laughs> family. Yeah, man. Yeah. You get, like, it's, it's, it's some, weird. Some crazy there, yeah. barbecues. We call it Jamaican cousins. So. <laughs> <laughs> with a Z. With a Z. <laughs> is it Alan Songs or Trey Iverson? <laughs> <laughs> it's very confusing. confusing. Jamaican cousins. You know, yeah. just you know when yeah. that head nod that we give. Yeah, that automatically means your family. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. It's okay. Well, Filipinos have those too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the, the, st- the st- and then when you turn around, if you turn around, cause you heard, st- <laughs> then you're probably part of their yeah, family. <laughs> we know each other easily. Uh, all Jill, right, Mr. Jill Smith. around when you went. St- <laughs> 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 cousin? What? Yeah. Cousin? See, Jill's, Hi, cousin. Jill's family, bro. Joe Mar paused. Oh, man. Uh, you ready to talk, bro? Yeah, I don't mind. You don't mind talking? <laughs> if I must. If, if I, I must. must. I'm so, here already. <laughs> I know. Uh, what is Mr. Smith's origin story? <sighs> yeah, I realized that uh, even when you brought this up, you're like, don't talk about it. And you're a little bit shocked at the fact that it happened before I met you. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, but no. Yeah. I was actually in grade 10. Um, I don't count any shoes before grade 10 because I didn't I really in, pay attention to I it. I was in grade 10 too. Yeah, I was in grade 10. Were you in grade 10? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. What? Damn. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> well, for, for those of you who don't know, well, you don't know. I went to grade 10. I'm J- still Jamar, in grade 10. <laughs> Jamar and I were born on the same day, so we're technically twins. Yeah, That's definitely crazy. twins. Technically. <laughs> technically. So your dad's Alan Iverson too. Alan Iverson. And my uncle is Trey Sons. Oh, Trey yeah. Iverson. It's a lot of resemblance. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> so it happened in grade 10. Sorry, yeah, it happened in grade 10. Um, my uh, origin happened at the at the craziest Foot Locker, uh, Shoppers World. <laughs> Shoppers World that's, that's Foot Brampton. Locker. <laughs> um, I just remember being in grade 10. Uh my brother knew the manager there, Ooh. and um, he was going crazy over these black cat fours. <gasps> and he sent me a picture. I was in bed. It was like 8 a.m. And he's like, hey, uh, Jamar. And I was shocked because I was like, first of all, you like me? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, my brother doesn't talk to me unless it's about basketball. So I was like, wow, you're looking out for me. This is kind of weird. He's like, hey, I got these uh, Jordans here. They are a size bigger than you. So it was, it was a size 12. It Ooh. was a size too big. Wow. Um, he sent me the picture. I saw these beautiful suede black cat fours mm-hmm. and I was like, how much? He told me the price. Got you for four bills, bro. I- <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Told me the price. And, um, you guys did talk about this. This is when a rare time where Foot Locker gave discount. Mm-hmm. And um, he was able to get me discount nice. on the shoes. So I was able to afford it. 
And just like that, he s- created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And from then on, it was every Jordan that came out I wanted. So it went yeah. bad. You're getting into it. Didn't matter what shoe it was. Mm-hmm. I wanted it. So proud of you. Sounds like Alan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really similar. We're going through yeah, the same situation right now. <laughs> same situation. Yeah. So so what's 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 your sneaker evolution? So Jordan started it. Jordan started it, and um, I think the evolution was definitely into the Iversons. Um, mm. Everybody talks about MJ, MJ being the guy. I was small. I wasn't 6'6". Six, six. Um, so when I was watching... <laughs> None of us are. <laughs> yeah. Watching I, I Iverson was so much cooler. I was. As I grew up, it was Great like a, a constant joke with my friends. I always used to say, like, Alan Iverson is my dad. Um, he's coming out. And I had... I had every pair of Iversons to play in when I was younger. Like so every like, year, so they believed you. I would nice. ball in Iversons. It was actually one time I went to the states and I got them a day before they came out. When I came back Jeez. home, look at you. That's what everybody actually thought I was related to the man. They're like, how do you have? I think they were the A sixes. They're like, how do you have them? I'm like, yo, I told you guys. Like, it's my pops. Watch it's my dad. that. Right. So I brought those pairs back and there's I. Just, Went with what started it all for him, and it was those Reebok questions. Mm-hmm. And I got super into the Reebok questions. Like, beautiful shoe. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, that was my evolution. I just went nuts on so Reeboks Reebok. Reebok. All of a sudden, yeah, I'm a very Jordan Reebok guy. Okay, I don't really come out of that mm-hmm. frame, even though Puma's coming Puma's up. Getting me coming up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can I ask? Can I ask why Allen Iverson over uh, over anyone else in the NBA during that time? I think it was a, it was a combination of his size. It was realistic for me, mm. um, especially, especially <laughs> as like there. a young guy playing. And what then was like, he? Six one. I have a six yeah. three. Yeah. Not six even. Three. I met him in person. Five eleven. Five eleven. Oh, actually, oh, I wow. met him too. That's right. I yeah. think I'm like the same height wow. as him. Yeah. They're yeah. lying. Were, were you at Capsule when you met? Yeah, Capsule. Yeah. 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 So five eleven, 160 pounds, soaking wet, and I <laughs> fell in love with him. Really, was I? My family lives in Philadelphia. And I got to uh, go there like every year, essentially, to visit them. Mm. And my uncle surprised me and took me to an Iverson game Sick. in Philadelphia. Nice. Crazier story. He is a security guard at a mall. Oh, God. And um, <laughs> so he was closing up the mall uh, before the game. It was a Sunday game. Um, he's like, listen, I'm going to... Hold you out. He wasn't telling me what's going on, but essentially Iverson was hurt that day. Mm. So I didn't get to watch him play. So I was pissed. But he also rented out the mall that day. AI so rented out the mall? He closed <laughs> the mall to shop. So they left stores open for him. Yes. So he doesn't have to like go well, crazy like with, the, with all the fans yeah, and stuff. So geez. they left the stores open when the mall closed. And I was lucky enough to meet him Dang, when, when the mall closed crazy. and he signed. My jersey that That's I was wearing. Wow. And then Get from that here. day, in grade four, he became my dad. Yeah. yeah. Real shit. Grade Fun four, fact. My dad. Due to your logic, Alan Iverson's my twin. <laughs> <laughs> June 7th. It's oh, our birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can this see the resemblance. Using family tree. Trey Song I, is also my brother. <laughs> I'm also actually Alan Iverson. <laughs> so Alvin's his own grandpa. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, and and the E in Spooner went to Missing. Alan. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn, my I name, knew my... it the whole time. <laughs> For those who don't know, my name is spelled A-L-L-A-N. Mm. Yeah. Now we know. Jeez, now we know. <laughs> On the ball. It all so makes it's a sense now. <laughs> yeah, ba- basically, this yeah. today here, this episode is a family reunion. <laughs> it's great to see everybody. <laughs> I missed you guys. The Philly days, yeah. bro. <laughs> it's been it's a while. Amazing. You don't come to Philly no more. <laughs> oh man. Sorry. <laughs> so, Jamar, what's your what's your favorite silhouette? <sighs> it sounds very very repetitive on this show, but it is the Jordan Three. Nice. Oh, I mean, I thought he was gonna go. That's fun. I, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I know, but it's too. like yeah, yeah. for me, the sneaker culture became for me like shoes that mean a specific thing to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like another shoe more than the Reebok question. Mm-hmm. True, it's just when I wear the Reebok question, it just means something to me. Uh, yeah. Um, sentimental, yeah. Versus, yeah. Like, but 
silhouette wise to Jordan three. Mm. I literally was just talking about this to a student. I work in a school. I was talking to us about a student. He was like, "What's the best Jordan I ever created?" I was like, "This that's Black Cement three. Like, there's nothing uh-uh. to talk about. Mm-hmm. There's nothing mm-hmm. to okay. talk about." It's the Brampton connection. We all worked in Brampton. So yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when you work in Knightsbridge for too long, everybody likes a black yeah. Cement. <laughs> <laughs> the black Yeah. The bridge. Oh, bridge. Shouts Knightbridge. So <laughs> do, do, do you um, have a <laughs> friend of the show? Nice friend Bridge. Of the show. <laughs> oh, what are you man. saying? Uh, do you have any memorable like purchases or like acquirements of any shoes? Um, recently. This literally just happened. Um, Good thing we didn't have you on earlier. Jeez. I met a guy <laughs> who um, who also collects Reebok questions. Ooh. And he was randomly getting rid of a bunch. He has the capsule pair. Ooh. The signed Ooh. capsule oh, pair. Oh, shit. Um, so I had to um, have a long conversation with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I know those ones. I know those ones. Because um, as of right now, the ones that I have in a box is like the OG... Uh, white and red colorway. Mm-hmm. I had it like in a Way box back. in my house. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. but when he told me he had the capsule pair after I bought another pair off of him, oh my gosh, she's gonna hear that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, Does she listen to the yeah, podcast? Yeah, she listens. Oh. I listen to it in the car all the time. That's why. But oh, we're good. We're good. The lights just went out, but we're still recording. Hey, hey. let's go podcast. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> I, bought, I bought a pair off of him and he told me he had that capsule pair if I was interested. And um, he was selling them for six fifty. Jeez. Um, he said I was a, I was a loyal customer. I was nice to him. We had a great conversation. <laughs> that sound loyal. And I was, <laughs> I was able to bring him down to three fifty. Oh, really? So wow. what's a drop? Like Yo, quick you, mats, that's like eighty percent off, yeah, oh, bro. Just like quick, that, quick uh, <laughs> my most memorable sneaker became that what? that oh, that capsule really pair really signed. Out. Uh, so I now oh officially gosh. now have a signed Iverson jersey that's, and a signed oh, oh, lit. Iverson shoes. The questions, so it looks great in a box right now. Will you ever awesome. wear those? I will together. never <laughs> no. wear them. <laughs> this guy said six fifty OBO, and he's like, okay. <laughs> Three fifty. Well, he's, I saw him. I didn't know that was his ad. It was the same ad, and I saw it at six fifty, and then he dropped it. To five fifty. So I was like, if he's dropping it, sounds like he yeah. really wants yeah, to get yeah. rid of get these rid pairs. Of it, yeah. Yeah. And it's a coincidence that he gave up two pairs at the. St- he had three mm. pairs online. So I was like, I already had one. Yeah, true. So I was like, okay, he's really trying to get rid of these. Let me see what I can do here. <laughs> so we had a great conversation. Uh, you tell him he was your dad, though. Um, yeah, I told him he was my dad and true. how much <laughs> these shoes mean to me. I wanted to be at Capsule that day, but I was working another All Star Weekend event, so I mm. couldn't be there. So, mm. yeah. 350. Oh, that's crazy. That's a good that's deal. Crazy. Yeah, that's a good deal, man. Damn, Mr. Steel, your kicks. Forget that. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So I wanted to buy those too. I was at that yeah. capsule event yeah. with, when he was there. And they were selling the shoes, but the, that weekend was crazy in Toronto. It was really had crazy. no fun. I just right. man, remember yeah. like saying I should leave work. Yeah. But then I remembered how much money they were paying me. Yeah. I know yes. how much. <laughs> I know how much you were making. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that gig. Oh, it was a. Uh, it was a gig for the NBA can- NBA. Oh. I was doing camps for the NBA. It wasn't the Jumpman Ooh. thing. No, the Jumpman thing. I would have left. <laughs> <laughs> I would have left. But didn't they give us the wrong pamphlets between you and I? Yes. Yeah. And then we we <laughs> traded. And I was supposed to be like a trainer or something. No, so that's where they messed up again. I was so mad. They ended up having me like stand and give history on the shoes because they heard me talking about it. Mm. And they're like, oh, we can use you here. And I was like, but I'm supposed to be on court. So luckily, the guy who was the head trainer was the guy that I trained with. And he's like, no, 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 you got to get my guy on court. So mm. hey. I got some more free stuff, which was cool. Yeah. I was nice. like, this is dope. All that merch for work. Yeah, it was a lot yeah. of merch. And they gave me a raise. So I was like... <laughs> nice, nice. Even they're, better, They're bro. paying me a lot of money to be here. I don't think I can leave <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Michael idea. Jordan's event to go yeah. see <laughs> out. <Alex. laughs> no. So speaking of basketball and you being like amazing at hoops, um, have you had the chance to play with any NBA stars before they got into the league? Oh, a lot, actually. Who? Uh, I played against DeMar DeRozan. Oh, what? Uh, I played against Brendan Jennings, Dion Waiters. Isn't that your twin too? Yeah, Brendan yeah, Jennings. yeah, Brendan Jennings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I have a funny story about him too. Actually, I, I was your sitting... mom's womb is massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's that a lot of like us. A while and out this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Your mom's womb so massive. <laughs> I took no offense to it because I was like, 
that means you're acknowledging they're my family. <laughs> <laughs> but she birthed like three NBA yeah. stars. NBA so stars yeah. <laughs> and then Jamar. Yeah. yeah. And but... Alvin, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and one random Filipino. Yeah. Oh, that that whole brother thing with Brandon Jennings started because I was sitting on the... Uh, I worked with the MLSE, uh, and luckily I was able to sit on the championship bench for the OBO finals, the Ooh. OBO balance tournament. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And Brendan Jennings was there, and I guess people thought we looked alike, so they kept girls came up to me asking if I can like <laughs> you know swingle, and I was like, yeah, I just ran with it, like yeah, it's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran with it. Like, we, we talked for, like, two minutes, but he became my cousin. <laughs> and it was like, cool, this is dope. Like, I'm very special You're sitting right beside now. him, but you're actually just like, yo, you're, you're on my jacket. Can you just get up? <laughs> <laughs> and the girl's like, oh, my God, that's his cousin. Look, they're talking. Well, well he acknowledged me. He acknowledged me when I was on the bench because earlier he was hanging out. Amir Johnson was our surprise guest at Raptor Camp that week. Ooh. And he was waiting for Amir in the change room. So he already saw me earlier in that day. And it's only been like three hours now. You recognize the face? He So when he gave me the handshake, I guess people assumed that we know each other. Mm-hmm. True. And it was But it was, it was just great. a Jamaican like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> it was just We're a family now. Hey, yeah. I saw you earlier yeah. and now you're sitting here. So I saw you, you might be a little bit important. Oh We're in gosh, the same room. Man. Cousins. Oh, that's crazy. I saw you twice. So, yeah, it was Brendan <laughs> Jennings, uh, obviously Corey Joseph. True. Uh, obviously. Being True. from Toronto. Obviously. Obviously. Um, <laughs> being from Toronto. I can't. I probably played against a couple more. Yeah. I just. Well, and I played against guys like Tristan Thompson. I played on his team. He's growing a Rampton up. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. man. Tyler Ennis. I played with him growing up. Dope. Anthony Bennett. Uh, Anthony Bennett played with growing up. Shout outs to Harold Brathwaite. What up, Branson? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like a lot of different NBA players and Dope. probably some that I just didn't realize mm-hmm. who they were at the time. Yeah. Sick, man. Like you played with Stauskas and you're like, who's Oh, I played against Steph when he was like kid. 10 years old. I think we were probably like 12, 12 years old when he was in Toronto. And Steph was 10 when he was in. No, City. he was older. He was playing. I was playing a year up. He was older. Steph's older than me. Mm. And you he were played so for good. Toronto 5 0. You played a year up because you were so good. No, 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 no. Uh, the team was that <laughs> they were bad. short. <laughs> <laughs> the team was that bad, actually. It's the complete oh, opposite. No. I, I got to play against Steph, that's but he was a your, child. That's not in your yeah. bio? Like yeah. That would be like tattooed on my <laughs> played forehead. Played against Steph. Bro. Well, against, it's like usually, yep. it's usually a really cool statement in Two Truths and a Lie. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's like because then it's I a played lie. against Steph Curry. <laughs> sure, <laughs> idiot. Yeah, all right. This guy's stupid. Oh man, he's obviously never been parachuting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So what's what's your involvement right now in the ball, basketball community? Um, all over. Like I work with MLSC as a community development coach. So I like Dope. do all their Sick. basketball camps, all their community events um i run my own training stuff uh what's that called i, I can ball academy okay uh, i can't ball i can ball <laughs> oh, okay. that's what i, I can ball we, ha- we have a big time thing i can't ball he's like one of the top trainers he's actually a uh, uh canada's jordan trainer Say. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah yeah he's canada's jordan trainer that's why when you see me at these random jordan events it's really because i'm his plus one <laughs> and, they, and they now recognize me luckily um, so, That's how you get your foot in the door, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got same free as, stuff by accident. Same was, thing as Brandon really Jennings. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen this guy twice now. I should say hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, with the I Can't Ball stuff. And then, like, I've coached many different teams, worked at many different yeah. camps. Like, if I was to go over all of them, it'd be kind of annoying. Oh, that's mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, cool. you we being let so... We Mag talk for, like, two hours last yeah, week. Yeah, man. So, so you oh, can no, talk no, for as long as you want, for real. Oh, word? If you like the stories. No, well, like, I've worked for, like, the NBA. I've worked for, like, NBA Canada also. Sweet. I've worked for, like... Uh, I've done camps in Barbados. I've done camps in the States, all over Canada. Um, done camps for different brands, like Under Armour, the Jordan brand. Uh, we just officially... We just finished doing a Nike program. It's like their Nike winter program for kids in community housing. Oh, so dope. I, nice, I was nice. lucky enough to be one of the head trainers for like the younger age group. Um, yeah. So Ooh, we're going to have a bunch of questions. I can't no. wait. Yeah. A <laughs> lot of different, uh, a lot of different brands I've worked with, a lot mm-hmm. of different, uh, companies I've worked with. Oh, I got so many questions. So I can't wait. So speaking of these brands, <laughs> so being so engulfed into the basketball community, and being able to see like players progress and like improve, have you ever seen any like brands try to recruit any of the players you helped? 
Um, they recruit. It's it's a whole system. Okay, so well, like, let's hear this. The whole AUU scheme. I just want to learn how to get yeah. it. <laughs> the whole AUU scheme is really brands. Uh, they have like Nike, EYBL, Under Armour has a league, Adidas has a league. Um, yeah, those are like the the major ones right now. But um, I've been in the Nike office. Um, let's let's. Hopefully, you're not listening, and I'm giving out information. But I've been there, and um, they actually have like guys on their boards where it's like they they want them in their league. So that's why it's so weird for like Marvin Bagley the third. Like they, they had him in the Nike EYBL since he was in grade nine. Wow. Um, so that means he's been getting Nike gear yeah. all throughout high school. They gave his dad a team. So they sponsored his team just so essentially he would play in the EYBL and then he signs with Puma. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> Got him. when you think yeah. about it, it's like they're actually like targeting yeah. these kids from a younger age yeah. by putting them trying to get them to play in their leagues yeah um because then they're wearing the merchandise yeah. they're seeing the merchandise yeah. they're seeing like all this stuff that nike does and has to offer all the lights Crazy. and then they have yeah. their like their their nike athletes show up to watch them mm. like you'll see mm. like cp3 at the events mm. wade like wow. like like lebron james showed up one time like like yeah. anthony davis stuff. Yeah. right so <laughs> Like I think they they really target them from like grade from nine. That's yeah. the thing, That's yeah. Wrong. Because like I don't want to interrupt, but mm-hmm. I did. I worked the the come out of nowhere event like two years ago with Nike, and oh, it was yeah. like high school ballers. They brought them all to like a uh, what's it called? Something I don't. Oh, the Brickworks or something. Evergreen Brickworks downtown, and they did like a whole training session with them. They gave them like all the food and stuff. Like very cool, and like it's crazy how much money they put into this stuff. But it's for exactly what you said, like. They get them wearing it from such a young age, and they bank on two of them making it to the NBA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if two of them make it to the NBA, and they're like, "Yo, Nike's been there since I've been in grade eight, grade nine. Like, I'm assigned with Nike. I'm, a, yeah. you know, I'm just gonna wear Nike on court. That's because they've been my family for forever. Like, boom. Like, people wonder why Nike or even any of these brands put so much into like marketing or like community yeah. development. Yeah. It's because if one of these people, even look at us, if Canada Got Soul makes it big, we're not going to forget that Under Armour's been there for time with mm-hmm. us. Or like yeah. anything Super like that. Like, mm. And we're always going to promote them, always going to have love for them. So like exactly what you said. Like these like, brands ain't dumb. It's <laughs> not gonna, like it's not going to be a coincidence if like RJ Barrett makes it to the NBA and he mm. signs with Nike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's played in like the Nike EYBL and yeah. has, his team has been sponsored by Nike. Nike. His whole high school career yeah because they're starting to do more in toronto too like yeah. car mm-hmm. is jordan i think yeah ca- i think it's car and central tech central are only tech two are jordan, jordan schools yeah and wow. nike has about seven Tons high schools of them now what? they have seven athletes, or eight athletes institute in orangeville is nike mm-hmm. yeah uh, puma's out in wherever that is like i think uh pickering Puma's oh yeah pickering high yeah. is a nike school mm-hmm. um vaughn is a nike mm-hmm. school is yeah nike. where Corey yeah. joseph went right uh no that's pickering high Oh, that's Pickering, that Pickering? yeah, oh, that's okay. Pickering High. They, they're a Nike school. Like, I think Nike has about seven, eight schools. That's crazy. Oh, and Jordan Brand and only has the two. Yeah, Jordan Brand, like, they wanted to target like those inner city schools. Yeah, and for um, sure. giving them something different. Yeah, mm-hmm. because oh. they they redid their stuff way like like their change rooms, their gyms, their school is just Jordan. Like, and they have wow. access to the three hundred six training facility. Gym. Yeah. Like they after hours, it, once yeah. a week. That's yeah. where Kaya's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> don't send her to college. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have two angry uh, Toronto people in your family. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so switching it back to the sneakers for a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do some rapid fire for you, Jamar. So, just some questions. First, first shoe that pops in your head. First answer that pops in your head. Just, just bleh. Okay. Number one shoe. If you can't answer that, your favorite silhouette. Well, you said favorite silhouette. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan 3. Jordan 3. Jordan 3. Cool. How many pairs? Of the Jordan 3? Nope. Oh, that I have? Yeah. <sighs> She's listening. I think. <laughs> Seriously. Sorry. I've sold a lot. There you go. So Good I answer. think I have <laughs> about, I'd say around, somewhere in the 50s. Okay. Oh. I'd say no, somewhere that, in the that's, 50s. That's a, that's a number the wife can live with. Trust mm-hmm. me. Yeah. I just, it can't. <laughs> go up it'll yeah, fit in impossible. the closet yeah, yeah. you're good, you're good. It but now closet. it's like 50 pairs i really like mm. so it's only gonna go up mm. <laughs> that's not a bad thing either yeah um sorry sarah uh, <laughs> uh your go-to colors bread okay black red for, for sean color that's black and red 
Uh, favorite brand? Uh, it's tough. Jordan. Ooh. What? It's tough. It's tough. Damn. I wear. That's true. I wear mostly Jordan. Jordan mm-hmm. ones every day, so it's tough. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's true. Booster Air. Oh, uh, that's obvious. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Air. That's Air. Good job. <laughs> um, <clears throat> have you heard me say Adidas? At all? <laughs> have you heard me? <laughs> no. Shout out to Raptors. They give me Adidas's. <laughs> I give them away at the end of camp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Exposed. You uh, you touched on this already, but th- oh, maybe not. Most valuable pair in your collection right now. Most valuable pair in my collection. Sentimental yeah. and money wise. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. I yeah. can't even say it was the signed pair. Mm. I think it has to be um, my OG Reebok questions. Just because Sarah stayed up with me waiting online <sighs> That's to wifey. cop those. Yeah, man. Nice. And um, she wow. was on her laptop and I was on my laptop. Mm. And she was actually the one who got the pair. She got it. Wow. So she That's got the pair. It's, so when, they dro- it's when they there. lied to us and they said that they're never going to release them again. And then they dropped. Yeah. And then they dropped again. I think you told <laughs> me that they were releasing. Yeah. And I was up all day on yes, the I did. online. I texted you. Yeah. And I was up all night and she was up with me and she ended up getting the pair. What was the colorway? The white and red. The red. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. The cherry red on the Love toe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never worn them before. I have nice them upstairs. To <laughs> Top three essentials you think every sneaker lover needs. Can I go from my perspective? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Definitely you need a pair of bread ones in your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't have a pair of bread ones, like, are you a sneaker head? Correct. I don't know. Yep. I don't know. Are you? <laughs> I, don't are you sure? I don't know. Um, You're on the waiting list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take a number. <laughs> but I, I think bread ones are crucial. They just look beautiful with everything. Like you can't you can't go wrong with those. Uh, mm-hmm. You need a big budget. <laughs> <laughs> that's essential. Um, you, top you, yeah, that's top three. Like you need a big budget. Like top three things. I think you need a big budget. True. And you need to actually have a passion for it if you're going to be a sneakerhead. True. Because I feel like there's a lot of guys who say they're sneakerheads and like they're not truly sneakerheads because it's like like the type of stuff that I've done to get sneakers, it's kind of sounds druggish. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like if you don't have a passion for it, it's like like it's 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 a really tough game to really be yeah. in. Yeah. Like it's no. really tough to be in. And that's the that. thing like. A lot of people don't get like it's not amount of pairs that makes you a sneakerhead. No. Yeah, like you said you have like fifty pairs. You sold a bunch. Like just because you don't have as much as like Alan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just an example. Like just you don't have as much as like the next guy. It doesn't make you not a sneakerhead. Um, it's not amount of pairs. It's not like how much money you spend. Like some people just don't got it like that, or some people have other mm-hmm. priorities. Like whatever. Um, it's just like the passion is definitely yeah. what it is for sure. Yeah, I learned that very very young. Yeah, in Damn my it. sneaker game, that passion is. Because it doesn't match up with money. Yeah. Nope. So Never I does. realized that Never. the passion for it is real. Like if it's, if it's not there, like it's tough to keep up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I, I name that. name two more sneaker essentials? <laughs> <sighs> he tried. He thought he got yeah, out of that. No, you're not <laughs> running away from that. What the? Thanks, Len. <laughs> like just sneakers for you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like oh, shoes. definitely. So then, the, if you had to whittle down Jordan your ones, collection, definitely yeah. bread Jordan ones. Uh, I'm definitely the Reebok questions. Yes. Um, every got, pair in the world. Every pair in the world. Okay. <laughs> all, um, all into one. <laughs> all into one. <laughs> That's a what the. A what the. What the oh, that would be a what the question. That'd be sick. And then def, for me, it's definitely Black Cement 3 after that. Okay. Because okay. okay. as of right now, three. besides the Jordan 1, Black Cement 3 is the only other Jordan I own. Ooh. Shit. Everything wow. else is Reebok, huh? Everything else is Jordan 1s or Reeboks. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan 1s are sick. crucial for me. Okay. Easy. Nice. Nice. I see you, bro. So, has there ever been a moment in your sneaker life where you felt that you had to kind of step back or get away from from it? And if yes, what what brought you back? Yeah, um, when I was working at shout out Knightsbridge, bridge. No, I was working at Knightsbridge um, for Boys and Girls Club, another job where me what and Evan work together. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, that's when I was at the top of my sneaker game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was working at Foot Locker. Mm-hmm. Um, discount was dope. Mm-hmm. I was enjoying life. Um, a kid in my program, when he came and copped a pair from me um, from Foot Locker, he got robbed <sighs> for his J's. 
To be exact, I think they were Olympic sevens. Mm. Yeah, he got robbed for some Olympic sevens. And um, I felt terrible. Um, And actually, that's when I sold all my Jordans. Really? Yeah, I sold every single last pair. And simple few, I'm lying. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I sold 99, 95% of the pairs. I sold them all because I was like, this is crazy. I wear these shoes every day. These kids are going crazy for them. I was like in a weird spot in my life. And mm-hmm. I was like, yo, this kid almost like died. Like they beat yeah. him up bad for his first, <sighs> for his horrible. Olympic sevens. Like, yeah. So I like sold a bunch of pairs, try to prove a point. Like it's not that important, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I came back when I start to get them for free. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be honest, might that'll as well. Well. I started to get them for free and I was like, Hey, this is just cool. And then it just, it just started the wave. And mm. I kind of, Ran in a little situation that Alan's running to, and I had to, I had to pick certain pairs. So I, I went with the Jordan ones. Mm-hmm. The shoe got started at all, so mm-hmm. I was like, I'm only gonna cop ones, and the occasional three. <laughs> um, and that's that's how I just got back into the game. Yeah, dope man. Nice. And I still had like other sneakers. Like I never yeah. stopped buying Reebok mm. questions. I love Reebok classics. Oh, um, sick. Yeah, I'm big on Reebok classics. I got a lot of pairs of Reebok classics, but. Mm-hmm. Never really stopped. Yeah. But I just gave away more now. True. Like, mm-hmm. I got a lot of little cousins and stuff who were yeah. my size. And like, nice. I coach a lot of kids. So it's like, here, 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 here. Especially if you're inner city or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've given away a lot I of shoes that. where it's like, here, 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 here. Coach, can I have those? Sure. And they get shocked. I'm like, yeah, bro, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like, you I, a nine? I, my bad eyes. Yeah, it, it happens all the time. Like, kids laugh where it's like, what size are you? I did it to a kid at my school the other day. He was shocked. I was like, what size are you? He's like, 10 and a half. I'm like, you feeling 11? Yeah. Here. He's like, come to my trunk. Because I, like, I'll i get shoes. <laughs> and it's like, if I don't like them, I just give them away right away. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. There you go. Yeah, that's like, good, man. That's good, just man. give them that's away. Because it's like, I'm not going to wear these. Yeah. Right? And yeah. So I don't know if you mentioned this. And you don't have to name the school or where it is. But you said you work in a school doing what? Uh, I'm a teacher assistant. I'm officially a BTA, so like a behavioral teacher assistant. True. Um, he had to turn his white voice on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely. Uh, I work in the school board. Um, well, we're getting professional. As a BTA. Now. Are you plugging uh, in your shirt? <laughs> this is his yeah, Mr. Yeah. Smith voice. Yeah. yeah. No, my Mr. Smith voice is exactly how I always act. Like, <laughs> that's the dope part of my position. Like I was talking to Alvin about it earlier. It's like I go to work exactly. How I'm. You guys saw me dressed today. It's like exactly how I go to work. In the school board, I don't get in trouble shockingly, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm I work with a lot of the kids who like skip class, mm. maybe having some issues in class, behavioral yeah. issues. So usually they'll come work with me. I got an office. They come down. We call it the contact room. I help them with their work. Help them get through any issues. And unfortunately, I'm I'm the person who participates in the suspension of kids. Oh dang! Yeah. yeah. Hey. Um. So just to quick, no, quickly go off that do the thing, man. like. You say, like, you deal with, like, students with behavioral issues or skipping class, whatever. Um, and you said you give sneakers away. Like, do you use it as, like, a way to relate to the kids? Like, is that, like, a thing that you use often? Or, like, the kids can relate to you and be like, yo, this guy's sick. Yeah, that's um, the sneaker thing and basketball thing, like, helps me a lot. Mm-hmm. And especially, hand. like, that I work for, like, like, I've got to work for, like, different companies and mm-hmm. different brands. Like, the kids love it. And, like... I was lucky enough to even bring some of my high school kids to like 306 Young, where it was like, That's nice. dope. they were like blown, where it's like, oh, he wasn't lying. <laughs> <laughs> or like, AI or when they like that. came across like my like picture on like MLSE site, where it's mm. like, oh, wow, like he really does this. And it's like, it, it, it really makes it easy. And uh, like, that's how I found out. I was telling him, that's how I found out how many Reebok questions I have because <laughs> they told me to like wear, like just wear them all. How many do you have? I think it's 16. Jeez. <laughs> 16, 16 pairs. Wow. Are you, are you missing any? Yeah. I need, I do need a still cop. Uh, I, I, I literally say I want to own every single pair. Right? Needs, I think you need thing. the black and red stash ones, no? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I need the black and <laughs> red stash. Um, do you have the LeBron one? Yeah, I do. Actually, one? um, Sick. luckily Kobe. my boy Justin, he had those pairs. Yeah, he Justin. copped them and then I bought them off him. So I got, he had the, the whole pack. The LeBron and the so Kobe I bought one. the pack yeah. off of him. He nice. actually gave me one for my wedding. A- one for my what? wedding gift. And then I bought the, the Kobe one the after. One. Yeah. Wow. He's a good you, Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Justin, man. Great He's a good guy. guy. Was it just questions that you picked up or any other uh, AI silhouettes? Nah, just questions. <laughs> let's, let's just say uh, he doesn't have the 
the best looking. Uh, <laughs> I like the answers. I have a pair of the answers. I have I, I have answers. I, I played answers my whole high school career. Nice. I played answers my whole high school career. Black and whites and the zipper and the red mm-hmm. and whites. I played in mm-hmm. zipper for aerodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the worst basketball shoes. <laughs> They're That's so heavy and chunky. Though. I don't even know how I moved in them. They look good with the uniform though. They do. That's why. That's why. Yeah, mm. it is. It's, it's aesthetics, right? Yeah, I think I cop. I probably had like probably had to buy those shoes like three or four times. <laughs> I actually bought them in the states once. I was coming back over the border and I was trying not to pay duty. <laughs> and luckily, I had a picture <laughs> of me like in right. high school yeah. with them on my phone. I was like, "See, they're not new." It's yeah. me wearing them right now. And he's like, "Oh, you're not lying." It was your fault, Donald Trump. Blame yeah, Donald Trump. Trump. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. Terrorized. I Terrorized. really and wasn't trying to pay that duty it. fee. <laughs> Trump <laughs> listens really to this man. Not he's <laughs> All of his friend, friend of the show. He's an enemy of the show. No, enemy, enemy. <laughs> enemy. Oh. Damn, I was gonna say you guys got a lot of friends of the show. <laughs> a lot of friends. Uh, yeah. We're neutral. We're neutral. We're neutral. <laughs> <laughs> we're neutral. So what what keeps you into the sneaker game right now? Um, it's just the hunt. True. Um, especially for Reebok questions because it's always so limited and it's always in such random places. Mm-hmm. Like I always gotta like, like some like contact somebody in the states, like a coach that I know out there, and like Tom caught me this or like. Like help me out here because it's tough. Like it's the hunt that really keeps me in, especially with like the shoes that I started like really going after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eh? yeah. If it wasn't the... for the hunt, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd be out of this thing still. If they were just like... all sitting on the wall and you're like, nah, I'm good. You I'm gonna put you on the hunt. spot. Does it? Does the do some of the students that you work with also? Like contributes to your passion for what sneakers is. Yes, they gotta keep um, you young inside. For yeah. yeah, yo, they keep they keep me like. They keep me posted. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't got to like, scroll through Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Like, they keep me posted. Like, like even like, I have a couple of students that like, I'll have on like Instagram because like they'll train with me mm. outside awesome. of school. True. So That's it's awesome. like, he's the one who showed me about those Kawhi ones. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was like, dude, like, when are these dropping? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? Like, keep me updated. Like, nah. The, and I got a lot of sl- sneakerheads at my school. Nice. A lot of skin real sneakerheads at my school. So we talk a lot about sneakers. Yeah. So just to go off That's that, sick. how do you see it like progressing with the younger kids? Adidas. Like, yeah. Adidas is like a takeover right now. Really? In high schools. Yeah. Um, they love, 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 love Adidas. Has it slowed down at all? Um, I think the Jordans actually has slowed down with teenagers from really? what I've seen. And oh, I've wow. seen it pick up more. Well, in the basketball community, it'll never die. Oh, course, never, yeah. never. So, like, yeah. in my basketball community side of things, like, the kids are always copping Jays. Mm. Um, for basketball guys, it's always Jays and trainers. Because that's, like, that's right after the game, you so want to throw on your trainers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, the average student, Adidas is just, like. Yeah. Like, the newer stuff, like, Ultra Boost. Yeah. Like, like they're, stuff. they're super into the Ultra Boost stuff. Yeah. Like, it's, like. Like teenagers are all over that right now. That that might be a future topic. The whole mindset of what culture or subdivision of sneakers you associate with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well a lot of them they say it's like Jordans are too bulky. Yeah. They're, they'll say like they're too bulky. Yeah. They're like in the slim way everybody's yeah. wearing. It's just trends. Yeah, it's yeah. trends yeah. right now. So yeah. and like and like Kanye. Yeah. yeah. Oh like, for sure. Yeah. That, like that's really it. Like Kanye. Yeah. If I could tell you how many kids in my school have Yeezys, you'll be like. So if you see them rocking the the bulky ass Kanye boots, you call them out. <laughs> I actually one of my students already has them. Oh, the, th- did he say that Jordans are too bulky? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hypocrite. It's a hypocrite. Man. I should call him out. Can I say his name? No. <laughs> <laughs> his address, his phone number. Well, yeah, that, how many his... times he's been suspended? No, guys, that's a potential future listener. You say his name and then you go, hey. I shouted you out. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, I can't believe you caught those. Oh my gosh, Phil. Yeah. I was like so disappointed. I was like, dude, he's like, Mr. Smith, like, I got to What is it, the duck boot? Was it the big duck boot? Yeah, oh. man. I was like, like, dude, like, really? Really? He's like, yo, these are mad comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but Jordan's is still bulky, though. Yeah, he's like, your Jays are bulky, though. <laughs> like, he made fun of me because I came to, I think I came to work in Ewing's one day. He's like, how do you wear those? <laughs> oh, come on. He's so big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> so your mama's womb is too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So any future plans for you in the sneaker culture and the basketball community? Like, what do you got planned in f- for the future? Um, 
I hopefully we can keep running. Uh, we we do a sneaker giveaway right now. Who um, sick? It looks like it was coming to an end, but I'm hoping it can continue. We uh surprise a student athlete uh every couple months with luckily a, like a pair of J's. Oh, nice, um, nice. Um, so we were able to not I can't say partner with anybody, but we were able to get some free Jordans. Um, <laughs> to be able to give away. To a pair of like give away a pair to a, a student athlete, deserving That's student so cool. athlete. How do they how do they get the chance to win it? Um, we actually do it all quiet. So first we did oh, it like an open contest for our first one where like kids drop videos and then you mm. gotta get like a backing for like but we're like, no 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 no, because no. we have a lot of kids who are just like doing it. And then when we talk to like their teachers and stuff, because you gotta drop like your school's information, they're like, No, 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 no. He's a liar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. like, um, so we actually started contacting like basketball coaches and Stop. like like in the community and like trainers in the community and we just would literally pop up on them so the last one we did um we just popped up at the kid's training session he was training i knew the kid too um i've worked with him before in like a different camp but he was training and like after it um, he thought he was actually filming something for a documentary, like, cause we like filmed him training. So he no. thought he was filming something for a documentary when it was literally like, no, your trainer's not doing a documentary. We wanted to get footage of you training. Um, and now this is why, cause we heard you've been working hard. You're doing great in school. Heard you're getting all A's and B's and, no. and you're grinding right now. And for that, we just want to let you know that people are always watching and people are always so appreciating sick. what you're doing. Wow. So that's massive. Um, I Goosebumps. think he got a pair of, uh, what did he get? That Was day? it the video? Yeah. With the ones? Yeah. He got ones. Yes. Yeah. He did get ones. Crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's dope, man. So you guys use I, sneakers as like positive reinforcement. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cause like most of these kids can't afford them. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like they are getting up there in price. So, mm-hmm. uh, oh yeah. We've been able to give away, I think, like five or six pairs now. That's wow. awesome. That's I good. love it. Dope, man. So, so should anyone want to, you know, improve their basketball skills with you, Mr. Smith? Oh, definitely. Hit How us can up. Reach you, man? Plug, Hit plug, us plug. up. Uh, I can ball is the Instagram page. No and then we have a second one, <laughs> I can ball academy, um, where we're, nice. we're starting something for like really, really little kids. So like from like ages Sick. five to like That's twelve, me. where it's like sending Kaya your way. Yeah, sometimes. so we're gonna like try and do it like a development thing, and like you kind of get promoted to like the real training because oh. uh, our head trainer like trains like NBA players, mm. etc. Oh. Right? So crazy. It's like if you can get to that level, it's good. Mm-hmm. But it's like swim it's classes. We're doing yeah. yeah. Actually, work your way up. We're just focusing on like the academy side of things right now, just to make basketball fun again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Amazing. the key thing, making it fun yeah. again. We feel like it's getting. It's being too serious right now. Yeah. And like yeah, yeah. a lot of kids who are just trying to just play for fun are getting like pushed to the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't, oh, yeah. bro. I got a, another question since we're keep going. Questions um, are great. We talked about ball shoes. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite shoe to hoop in right now? <sighs> What's your favorite shoe that you've ever hooped in? That's just a quick <sighs> start question. Go for it. Hirachi 2K4s. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Kobe Hirachi 2K4s. <laughs> nice. I love those That's all shoes. time? Yeah. Okay. I think those were my favorite shoes to hoop in all time. And what about right now? What are you hooping in? Uh, what am I hooping in? Whatever right you now? I hoop in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> um, I don't have an official ball shoe because it's always like whatever I get for free. So I think the last, <laughs> the last shoe I hooped in was was the LeBron Soldiers. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. I got them from like the Nike nice. program. Mm. Um, but consistently, I, I usually hoop in. Probably KDs. Mm. Ooh. A lot of KDs. And what do you think of all these uh, smaller brands who are doing more in the basketball s- scene? I so we have it. like Nike's, like obviously been there for time. Adidas kind of fell off a little bit and they're trying to slowly get back into yeah. it. Under Armour's here, Puma's here. Like, what do you think? I love it because it just uh, it gives kids another option, mm-hmm. uh, especially affordable options. Yeah. Um, especially for these brands that are just starting, they can't jack their prices up already and like maybe yeah. the technology is not going to be the same but like your average 12 year old has no idea yeah they're not yeah. going to um, feel the difference and these 12 year olds are huge now so they're wearing men's sizes <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like I, I love it uh, I hope it really works out uh, I know it's really worked out for Under Armour with Steph mm-hmm. yeah. uh, I hope a it, bottle with that. yeah I hope oh, it really yeah. works out I'm a little bit skeptical about Puma until they get a guard because mm. I, I believe like big men don't sell shoes yeah yeah that that's big men don't sell shoes so yeah, it's like when yeah. was the last big man who had like 
a hit shoe. I think Shaq. Shaq. I thought back to, and it was like nobody bought those. That's true. Yeah. 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 I Walmart. think the I think like yeah, he said Walmart. I think I would say like the most successful one is probably Ewing. I was gonna say Ewing. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's like nobody hoops in those. Yeah. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah, I hope it works out for them, but I think they need to land guard. a big time guard. Yeah, because yeah. those are the flashy guys guard. that people want to emulate. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what it is, man. There's not too many. I mean, that I know, like guys who are like, "Yo, I want to play like Shaq." Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, is Durant considered a big man? Um, no, he's, he's a big nothing man. we've seen before. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he's a slasher. He's um, like a slash. Player. And his shoes are like made for guards. Oh yeah, so sure. like guards, he moves yeah, like a guards, so. yeah, guards love his shoes. LeBron on. is a big man. Yeah. Speaking of LeBron, what do you think of the going ons in the NBA's right now? Oh yeah, give us some NBA. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. I, I love it. Uh, some NBA I, lo- I love yes. everything about it. Uh, yes. I love LeBron in LA. I think it it only suits. The only thing I don't like is that the moment the ball tips and he gets it, I like he's officially probably the best player to ever play in the Lakers. You know? No, you can mm. No, not like not the best Whoa. Laker of all time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You, you got see, it's very the way specific. You word it, yeah. It's very specific. He's not, not the best Laker heard, of all time. I've heard that people have that conversation. No, no, no. no. He's like, not the best. He won't. <laughs> he'll be the best player to ever play in a Lakers uniform. Okay. Not the best Laker of all time. Because you got Kobe, you got Magic, you got there's so many different Lakers, yeah, right? Who had the, the careers there. But in, in terms of just like talent, like his season next year. I see the, the way ridiculous. you're wording it. Yeah, yeah me that. too. Yeah. Yeah, what and it, that's what gets me mad. Because people like, are saying uh, he's top five Lakers of all time when he hasn't done anything. Yeah. No, no. How no, do you? No, no, no. <laughs> you have no legacy in the don't, Lakers. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. That's that's the only thing I don't like about it is because there's so much legacy there. There's so many guys who played there. And like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just going to get slotted in no matter what. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it really takes away from like that history that uh, people fall yeah. in love with. Like being earning, a Lakers fan. Earning that kind of like. Yeah, I think he'll earn it though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's LeBron, yeah. man. He has the skill. He has the talent. I'm, I don't think he's not going to earn it. It's just he's stepping into it already, and everyone's just giving them that title. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's insane. I hear you, bro. Do you think he's getting a ring with the Lakers? <sighs> Unfortunately, unless KD leaves, I don't think so. Do you think even mm-hmm. – I think that even if KD leaves, they still threaten for a title in Golden State. They have I don't know. five all-stars right now. That's another hot take. I, what do you think I about think, DeMarcus Cousins? Yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah. From a player standpoint, um, I know what it's like coming back from a major injury. And um, the NBA, in reality, it's it's a money league. Like, mm-hmm. it's for money. If yep. you went to, like, your average team, which nobody offered him a contract, makes no sense to me. Yeah. Um, but if you went to his average team, there would have been a rush to get back. Mm-hmm. This gives him time. They're not rushing you. They don't really need you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't really need you. So, and they're yeah. only paying $5 million for you. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like... <laughs> Don't rush him back. He gets to take his time, come back from injury, get healthy again. And like, I think it's just good for him as a person. Uh, I think that's the culture he needs. I was going to mm-hmm. say, do you think he'll fit with that? Because he's like, he's going to the most humble team. Yeah. And he's the most like animated, like yep. demands the ball. Like it's 16 technical. Yeah. Year. Someone was yeah, telling yeah. me that Golden State has the top three most technical players. They yeah, do. They do. Yeah. 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 But I, I hope it works out for him because I think he needs to be in a culture like that. I think Every- he needs to be humbled. Uh, people underestimate like these rookies getting put on bad teams and bad organizations and it it, it true it, it ruins their career it's mm-hmm. like an organization can just don't have the chance to shine ruin your career yeah. i say the kyle Lowry, like he was on his way out the nba there's mm-hmm. no toronto raptors like and now he's an all-star like mm-hmm. an organization can really make you who you are and i think boogie that's awesome it, it developed a little bit with the pelicans having anthony davis there and mm-hmm. rajon rondo there, like veterans to talk to him but when he was in sacramento he was the veteran he yeah. was sacramento yeah, yeah, yeah. right <laughs> so i'm hoping that he can go there and just become a better person that's mm-hmm. why i say from an athlete standpoint i like it mm-hmm. um and it's just cool to say i, I was alive to watch it yeah mm-hmm. um, the real super super team yeah all the people are saying it's the, the nba's ruin it's like shut up you know you're gonna watch it yeah. <laughs> oh man i'm very excited it's so entertaining season. like yeah, that last questions. year's season i felt was like super entertaining i got to watch like lebron do some like jordan-esque stuff yeah. yep um I didn't know if he was gonna come out the East, which is crazy. You didn't know the who Warriors was come were the West. Yeah, yeah the Warriors yeah. down three two. Yeah. yeah, we watched Utah like this uprising of like this kid yeah. Donovan Mitchell out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like it was a great season to me. So going off like we mentioned, super teams. What do you think of the whole super team era in the NBA right now? I think it was the, always a super super team, mm-hmm. always. The, the NBA think it was, was always a super team. Somewhere. The NBA was never fair. True. I think I you, that's why that, when people are like like like. I think this I is ruining. I'm like, when was the NBA fair? Yeah. Who holds all the championships? Lakers, 
Spurs. Celtics. Yeah. Spurs. Bulls. It's all like the yeah. major so team. So true. And the only reason why it's Bulls is because Jordan went there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and they're he not. Had, he had a super team. Yeah. The Bulls are amazing. It's that people just like it that the GMs got to do it before. Mm-hmm. Now it's uh, like. The players make the. When the players make yeah. the decisions, it's a little bit different. They hold all the cash. But the yeah. NBA was never, ever fair. When. <laughs> When the Dallas Mavericks won, did we all expect them to beat the Miami Heat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? It's always weird when those teams won. When you think mm. about it, in the last 10 years, like, the if you were should have won, won. If, yeah, the people <laughs> who should have won, won. And we always know, like, the same four teams who are probably going to be d- down the stretch. And when yeah. it's not, it's a shock. The yeah. one before Dallas Mavericks was probably the Detroit Pistons when mm. they beat the Lakers. And we're all yeah. shocked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then before that, I can't even remember. Like, it's just everybody who was supposed to win won. <laughs> what, yeah. It was rather the it's Lakers yeah. or the Spurs. Spurs, yeah. Yeah. Who is coming out of the West this year? Uh, <laughs> the Golden State Warriors. I'm not mad. Like, Steph yeah. and KD are my favorite players. And what do, you think about, what do you think about the East since it's essentially wide open right now? I'm a big Raptor fan. And I'm a diehard. Let's go so I'm going to say the Raptors with my heart. We're going to die I'm hard. I'm going to tell <laughs> you... It's going to be the Boston Celtics. Like oh, first overall and yeah, come yeah, out of the East. It's going to be the Boston Celtics. But I pray to the, the basketball gods. It's the Toronto Raptors. Yes. Word. I have another. I have a bunch of basketball questions. <laughs> okay, so um, if you guys are done with the basketball talk, you guys can just exit the episode. You guys know the plugs. But no one's, no one's <laughs> done with this basketball talk because it's super interesting. Um, why are all these players going to the West when the East is so easy right now? It's hot. It's but that simple. Is it not just <laughs> oh, the weather? Con- the weather. <laughs> oh, do you think it's just literally it's, just it's, the weather? It's just a better place to be. Yeah. Like if you had to choose between cold, yeah, fast. Washington, yeah. or being in Miami. Yeah, but besides Miami, I think that's the only team. Orlando. That gets, yeah. Nobody wants to go to Orlando. Though. It's like the family place. That's yeah. true. <laughs> I, I would love to the go to Orlando. Under is Disney. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. But uh I'd go to Orlando. And then it's organizations too. Like it's it's been noted and it's been proven that teams in the West spend more. Mm. And it's cuz a lot of those teams have no tax too. True story. Mm. But it's so much easier like the way I'm seeing it is right now LeBron left the easier conference to go to one that he might not even make it to the finals out of. LeBron's done. He's studying Pats and wants of to course, be a movie yeah. star. Mm. Yeah. That move let me know that like he he's comfortable with being in the conversation and if he wins he wins if he doesn't I'm starting my life he, and he he's made the family even, decision he's never played yeah. for a huge franchise like he's made the franchise after yeah pretty much so it's kind of cool mm-hmm. that he's getting that chance yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool I'm I'm actually excited to see it I'm not even a Lakers fan I'm not a LeBron um, fan not a Lakers fan but it's exciting and then last question what number do you think he's gonna be what number do you think he's gonna play in <sighs> twenty five I think he confirmed he's gonna be twenty three. He confirmed he's going to be 23? I think so. I thought I saw something. Let me fact check. You could have just left it and let him answer. Yeah. <laughs> I think he should. Legacy-wise, he has to say 23. Yeah. yeah. It only It's only right. Because yeah. right now, for his legacy, it's the only thing that Jordan didn't do. Mm. Is go to the West. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing Jordan didn't do is go to the West. But and Jordan the, was always 23. Yeah. LeBron switched to six. And he did that for like for the, Miami. Miami, yeah. And he did it saying that nobody should be wearing twenty three or something like that at the time. I think he changed it saying Michael Jordan's number know. shouldn't that be worn. That was also the same time he were he he did that whole press conference to decide where to go. <laughs> the decision. Yeah. The decision. It's a, it's a terrible episode. Yes. So bad. <laughs> I waited an hour with these dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> when did you decide to dis- this? <laughs> Who did you tell? <laughs> <laughs> when you woke up this morning and the decision was made were you wearing deodorant <laughs> and the actual decision was like 22 seconds and it's like yeah. episode over yeah that was so mad he made it like i don't know i've decided to i've decided to take my talents <laughs> to the miami heat <laughs> that was like the most rehearsed sentence yeah. of yeah. life it's like you could you could have just he thought about that one you couldn't tweet this right <laughs> <laughs> yeah it says uh he chooses 23 damn for the lakers ah, i don't know if i like that yeah i do because to see lebron or to see james and then 23 underneath in laker colors <laughs> It's just weird. Like it's Michael Jordan's that number on the Lakers, though. It just seems weird. I wonder how yeah, angry but Kobe now, but now twenty three right? is also oh, LeBron James's yeah. number. You know what? I was talking to a Kobe fan, and they're like, 
they're slowly accepting it because because they're Kobe fans, they're hardcore Laker fans. Yeah. So now that the Lakers have a better chance uh in the West, they're like slowly liking the fact that LeBron's <laughs> yeah. on the squad. I've also heard LeBron fans who don't like it though. Mm. Because as if you're a LeBron fan, it was for a long time or it's always going to be Lebr- who's better LeBron or Kobe. So I know a lot of like mm. LeBron fans who just don't like the Lakers and they're like, fuck, like super torn. <laughs> like he's like, I literally follow a guy, shout out to Galaxy Training, Coach Carter. Ah, yeah. My God. Yeah. He's, what up, Sadie? Yeah. What up? <laughs> <laughs> he literally said, um, like, I love LeBron, but I'm going to have to cheer for Sacramento this year. <laughs> <laughs> like, he can't, just, he just can't, lying. he can't cheer for the Lakers. And he's like the biggest LeBron Seti's fan I know. He's a diehard yeah. Bron fan. He's a LeBron fan. You're going to buy a Laker jersey. We're going to send him a Laker jersey. I think I'm going to buy him one. Buy <laughs> Seti. The swing man, though. The swing man. We'll not buy Seti <laughs> oh, yeah, a Laker they, jersey. They were already selling his jersey. Apparently, they've sold out. Yeah. That's not surprising. That's yeah. not surprising at all. Yeah. So, it's been confirmed. It was 23. Huh. Meh. I like it. Same. Cool. I don't think I have any more questions. No. You think Golden State's winning it this year? Yeah, they won yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that was they, last they week. The Lakers, Season's over. Yeah. Unless somebody, God forbid, gets really, really hurt. Mm. And uh, my bad. It's going to take like three of them to get hurt at this point. <laughs> Do you think that it matters where Kawhi goes? Yes. But I'm hearing he doesn't want to play with LeBron. Uh oh. Really? Sheesh. Hearing, hmm. but I think it's rumors. Unless Woj tweets it, I don't believe. Yeah, it. <laughs> heard it from Woj. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hear it from Woj. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. I can't think That's of any it? more That's basketball good. questions. Me yeah, yeah. Damn, bro. All right, I'm a weird basketball mind. It's fine. No, it's like good, it. man. It's a basketball. It's good, mind, it's good seeing yeah. that perspective though, because you're you're like you've lived it growing up, right? Yeah. So you have the perspective of the athlete as opposed to a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So getting that perspective is definitely like. That's good. Cool. The same yeah. way that we're immersed in sneakers, you're immersed in basketball. Yeah, I th- it, it, it ties in, man. It yeah. ties 100%, 100%. in. Yeah. That's, that's why I could tell you. That's why Adidas isn't big in the basketball world. Really? Because Derrick Rose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we talked about that last week. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 Because yep. I think he was like their first real signature. Their big one. Yeah. 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 I think so. Everybody else, they did that whole team five thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like kids just like they laugh at me when I hoop in Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but now Harden, though. So you think Harden's going to bring that back? Was I don't last think year so. his first year or his second year? First, I think. First? I don't think Harden so. Harden volume one, I think. Yeah. And Lillard, no? I think it's yeah, tough Lillard for them. Too. The it's tough because, like, there's always, like, Lillard, it's really tough because, like, kids like him, but they like Kyrie so much more. Yeah. Mm. And Kyrie's shoes are so comfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like the most worn basketball shoe right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, it's tough. And, like, James Harden... He's just like the, like people like him, but they don't like him. Mm. Yeah, I know that one. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't seem like that kind of guy you want to emulate as no. a player or like as a young kid. Like I see kids being fans of him, but like you want to be Kyrie with the sick, crazy, flashy handles. Yeah. Like not the guy who's shooting twenty-two free throws a game. Yeah, and mm-hmm. the fact that like PG shoes like will do better than Harden's will show you. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. Yeah, true. true. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, Jamar. Thank you very much for being yeah, on this man. episode. Thank you. That was awesome. Man. That hey, was thanks incredible. for having me. It was, it was thank fun. you for uh, giving us your basketball knowledge. We we'll have you on mentality. again to, to 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 pry more information from you. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's fun. <laughs> more basketball talk. Our, yeah. Actually, our our homie Jarek Presto was asking us a ton of basketball questions. Yes. So, oh my Jarek, this episode was for you. You probably there you're going to go. listen Shout to all my guy. Give this. me a call yeah. if you want to talk more. I love talking basketball. <laughs> yeah. or if you want to train with him, that's yeah. I can. If you want to train, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come <laughs> through. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you, Bram, for the theme song. Thank you, Sneaker Podcast and Matt and Zach for all of your help. If you are listening to us on iTunes, please leave us a review and shoot us some stars. I gave us five stars. Uh, if you're tuning in on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, drop us a like, comment, and subscribe if you have not yet. Do you guys say Spotify now? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, oh, do I even have that list? Oh no, I should throw Thanks, that on Jamar. the. I should throw yeah, that on the outro. Jamar. I saw you guys like shout out Spotify. Yeah, I should. Spotify. I should throw that. Like, yeah, we love that's you. Brave now. Oh, well, we made. After, after all that, L Doggy said. <laughs> Spotify <Brave>. slander. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a Facebook group called CGS Talk. Uh, that's facebook.com slash group slash CGS dot talk. We talk it up and sell some things there. Uh, hit up CanadaGotSold.ca for our latest pieces. Uh, I just threw up a Adidas Pride i5923 pack review. 
Uh, Lawrence threw up the Max Swish Lottery. What? Max Lottery Swish Contest. Lotto Max Swish. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Um, and what was it? Was another review? What was the last review that we threw up? Some next shit. Yeah, some next shit. Yeah. Go to CanadaGospel.ca <laughs> for some next shit. Um, <laughs> it's a great title of the article. There you go. Now, if you'd like to join us on True to Size, just like Jamar did, if you have any questions or suggestions for Fire Round, shoot us a DM or email us at CanadaGotSoul at gmail.com. Uh, you can find our special guest, Jamar, at? Uh, Youngsmith3. Hey. Um, obviously three. So Jarek Presto, hit up, hit up that one. Shoot his DMs <laughs> for all the Smith basketball three. Time. And? Uh, I can ball and, and I can ball academy. Hey. Uh, you can find the host at? Mr. Q Mart. <laughs> you can find Lawrence at? L D O double G Y styles. You can find Joel at? J O underscore D three O's N E Y. And you can find me at underscore Spooner no E. Thank you for listening to us talk about sneakers and basketball tonight. Mm -hmm. Please remember to rock your kicks. This has been True to Size. We are CGS, and we are out. Goodbye. See you later. Thanks, man. Cheers. That was great. That was dope. Was that a long episode? That, uh, yeah, it's pretty much an hour and a half. Perfect.